Hello and welcome back to Indoor Games. My name is Casey and today once again we will be continuing on with our Imperial Agent story playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. I don't know what this is. I'm pretty sure it's a giant bug zapper. I might I should touch it. Hey, hey, one of you guys should touch this and see if it's a giant bug zapper. Do it. Come on, I'll give you five dollars. Come on, do it. Five dollars. You could be like the kid in the Christmas story and you could try to touch it with your tongue and see if it sticks to it. Plus, that would be even funnier to watch. You should do it. Can you use a stick? I guess you could get a stick. It won't really be the same. It won't be as funny unless you use your finger or something. But, you know, I guess we'll give you permission to do that. You came to Nashadar to neutralize the terror cell, distributing the dangerous Cyclone Serum. With the help of the imprisoned Watcher X, you traced the Cyclone to the terrorist front company Vervgen? Something like that. You've, you're ready to infiltrate Virgin. Sorry, Vervgen. Headquarters and break up a terrorist meeting, go to the Vervgen building, and then activate the holographic droid disguise. I get to wear a disguise? Oh my goodness! That just sounds like so much fun. It's always fun to play make-believe. Red? Let's talk when you get the chance. That's sure. Sure, we can we can do that right now if you want. That's what I thought she doesn't want to talk now, does she? So, it's actually more like whenever she gets the chance, not whenever I get the chance, because I'm ready to talk anytime she wants. Yep. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. I think I'm gonna Have go here, buddy. I will, I will try my best. Could you guys tune these up a little bit and make them a tiny bit faster? That would be awesome. So cool. How dare you scan me? You stay away from me. Trying to scan me without my permission? Are you still cleaning the same spot on the floor? Jeez. Taking you forever. Uh, well, I mean, I, the floor does still look pretty dirty. But it's been a long time. You think by now they would have figured it out? I'm, I'm tempted to do this other thing first, but... Screw it. Let's go into Revan's vault real quick. Here, let me... Read the thing. Let the defenses disable the mystery... The mysteries of Revan's secret facility in the upper industrial sector can be explored. General Colvin has asked you to investigate the complex further. 
Discover what happened to the alien slaves within the re within and recover Revan's mysterious cargo. And investigate Revan's secret facility in the upper industrial sector. We're gonna do it. We're gonna. What do you freaking want, you goon? Freaking goon. Yeah, I mean, he's... If somebody happens to be an alien from another planet and they look just like this guy, I'm sorry, but he, he, yeah, he's not... He's, I wouldn't say he's not ugly. But yeah, that's true. On his planet, he might be the most handsome man alive. You never know. I guess you'll just have to go there and ask somebody. Okay, excuse me. Can I show you a picture? Yes. Do you think this man is ugly? And then, you know, if, if the little kids go, oh my goodness, or, you know, you show some lady and she she does the same thing. Oh my goodness. Do you think this man is ugly? Oh my god. <laughs> then you know. If that's the reaction, then you know. He was indeed ugly. But I guess you should have known he looks just like you. Every time you look in the mirror, there's your proof. I do love how we're invisible, but you're not. I guess no one really cares because you're just a little droid walking around, right? Nobody pays attention to the droids. I'm certainly not paying attention to them. I love this. I love how I can just sneak past everyone and I don't have to do anything about any of that. The Revan was here yesterday. It is a gift to be in the presence. I felt the force that travels below your skin, straight to the heart, the lungs, the gut, a warmth, and a chill. The Revan says it is the force that feeds the infinite engine. We feed it with our thoughts, our love, our hatred, and all that we feel, it turns to energy and there is something. They say once lived without the engine, without the Revan, I do not wish to imagine such a life. Well, I mean, yeah, if you got a machine that just does everything for you, it sounds pretty good. Didn't even notice you guys standing there. I was too used to just walking through without having to do anything. Did that guy just go into the wall? Oh my goodness. What did you do to him? You really messed him up, huh? Quit moving. Let's talk when you get the chance. Right now, this is the chance. Your one and only chance. You better take it. I may not offer you another one. Oh, who am I kidding? We all know that I will. You think you're cool, huh? Look at this guy. Mr. Arms Crossed Guy. What model are you? Arms Crossed Droid. Let me see. No, he's just a regular old Sentry Droid. But don't do that to me. That's not very nice. That wasn't very cool of you. My grandfather's grandfather once stood in the presence of the Revan. It's hard to believe. They say that he once lived on the surface and walked on the light of the suns and the moons. It's hard to believe. Here the light of the infinite engine warms our skin and lets us look upon our faces. The Revan said as two delicate newborn each the machine is the first to touch the feel and emerge from their mother's bodies. The first touch they feel, eh? The Revan said to give our dead to the machine. It takes back all that it gives through the years and returns it to us as food and as medicine. That's weird. Our homes are built and heated from the bodies of our dead. 
No one understands when I asked the question, would this seem strange? When, what did we give up when we swore ourselves to the service of the Revan? I don't know. The sun? You guys gave up the sun and the moon, I guess. It must be up there. Excuse me, pardon me, I'm coming through. Not lose faith, my brothers. For two, ten, for two tens of generations, we have kept our pledge. We will not emerge before the sign. The Reverend left us words to live by. There will be a sign. Someone will come. We'll seek the machine. Someone worthy. Is that me? Hold fast to your purpose, for the time will come. Your children will see the day, or their children, or a hundred generations hence. Hold fast, for the day will come when we are tested, and we must be ready. Will it be a worthy soul who breaches our defenses, or must we kill and die to defend Revan's legacy? I don't know, I guess you guys will just have to figure that one out, eh? That might happen a hundred generations from then, who knows? How long has it been since you recorded that message? I have no idea. What do you think they're doing? <laughs> Revan's journal. Fools on both sides. All who thought the Stars Forge was a mere weapon, they didn't know. Seeds the world such power even in a fragment. A fleet that's what I made it most almost, almost laughable. What are the smallest piece that cannot build ships? Air, life, you're going too fast. It feeds on the force, on energy. Begins where we all began, a breath of air, a drop of water, first chains of carbon. Why bother with fleets when one day we might build our own galaxies? You trying to build some galaxies? It's a shame you wouldn't let me read that a little slower. Hey guys, what's up? What's the engine? Nenua Imuk. Greetings to you, powerful stranger. Welcome to our home. We are servants of the Revan, custodians of the infinite engine. Well, you guys are janitors? Sweet. There's this lady back there. She has been cleaning this spot on the floor for like three days now. Could you guys go help her out? You're professional. You're professional janitors, right? You could do it. Not anymore. You're wasting your time. Revan's been dead for centuries. Young <laughs> He just passed. The information grows. It was the size of a fingertip when we came here. And it sustained few. Now the infinite engine is large enough to sustain many of our people. It fulfills our every need. Food, clothing, tools, even weapons and mechanical beings. Yeah, I'm taking it with me. Power like that belongs in the hands of the Empire. Oh. Step aside. She doesn't mm. like it? Like we swore to the Revenant we would protect it, nurture it, the infinite ancient, as 
As we sustain it, so does it sustain us. That the power of the, the infinite engine, our people will wither and die. However, we are willing to gift you a seed from it. The seed will require many ages of nourishing, but one day you will have an infinite engine just like ours. This is going to be dependent upon if she approves or disapproves of this. I'm going to say you have a deal. But if she doesn't like it, I'm going to pick the other option. Give me this oh. seed and I will... Sorry, buddy. <laughs> You're wasting... I'm not leaving here without that machine. Oh, she approved. You haven't warned us someone might come to steal the information. We promise never to allow that. Well, I guess I'm just going to sadly have to take it from you then, I guess. What did you just do? <laughs> well, we got that back. Screw it. And just go right past them, and they don't even know I'm there anyway. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Don't, oh, goodness. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, yeah. Just had to come around the corner where all you guys just decided to do that, eh? You think you're cool, huh? I have to break it to you, you're not. I'm even gonna just not even worry about my health. Oh my freaking goodness, I got a Spring Abundance Festival Ribbon? Oh wow, that's amazing. I've always wanted one of those. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> it's mine now. Another one? Oh my. Well, I guess that means we're going to have to go on down to the festival, then. It's probably never going to happen. Tempted to go down here first. Let's go. Let's, let's go back to this guy. Let's go back to General Colvin. I mean, it's right there. I don't even need to fast travel or nothing. And it, it, you know, it, it's very close.
The operation in Darth Revan's complex was a success, General. Have a look at this. I can feel it humming look, with look, power. Look. What is it? Some sort know. of device. It's the infinite engine. The descendants of Revan's slaves were worshipping it. They what? Why do you dislike? I'm curious. The operation curious. in Darth Revan's complex was a success, General. Have a look at this. I what about that? Let's try to find out for yourself. Do I look like a scientist to you? Oh, she like that one. Quite right. And I sense I'll have much to learn. Was there anything else in the complex? Did you find evidence of Darth Revan's alien slaves? Yeah, they're still in there. Descendants of those slaves are still living in the complex. Troubling. If we're ordered to occupy the complex, I hope those vermin don't pose any problems. Oh, okay. I'll try this. Hold on. The operation in... I can... Fascinating. Oh, damn it. If <laughs> the operator, I... the descendant, ah, those... oh, what did I, what did I click on? <laughs> the operation, I could. Do I look like a scientist to you? Quite. Was there anything? Yeah, but I got rid of them already. The slave's descendants were still alive, but oh. I exterminated them. Ah, good. Ah. No loose ends, then. Ah. Emperor will be pleased. You've done a commendable job. I'll have this machine transported to Drummond Cass for study. With any luck, we can put it to good use. Ah. Have fun with that. I'm glad you're so excited. I've just received a request for assistance from my colleague Major Danrus in network access. If you visit that sector, he could use you. I don't care about that guy. What makes you think I give a crap about what that guy has to say or want? That's all you guys want is just, hey, could you do this for me? Could, could you, could you, could you quite possibly do something else for me too? I got a buddy. Oh, you know, about 20 minutes from here. He could use your help. You could do some stuff for him too. <laughs> oh yeah, he's totally going to take all the credit for it. Yeah. There's a pole there or something. Yeah. There you go. Oh, goodness. He's not hitting you. Why are you making noises? You're inside of a car. What? You, you shouldn't. Or a spaceship? You're inside a vehicle of some sort. Thought those were stop signs. I didn't know what to do. Oh, would you look at that? Kind of a look. Let's talk when you get the chance. Does that mean bad? Hey, what's up? Nothing to see here. It's just me, a droid. Nobody pays attention to droids. I hope I can make it there before... <sighs> oh, man. 
This is all your fault. Let's talk when you get the chance. You need to say something other than that. Beep beep boop boop beep boop boop. Yep, just a robot. Don't worry about me. Beep beep boop boop. I am just a robot. Don't mind me. After the test results came in, we made some modifications. The serum lasts longer. The side effects kick in later. It's still lethal. No matter what we do, Cyclone will burn up its users from the inside out. I'm not concerned about fatalities. The men and women taking the serum understand the necessity of sacrifice. This is an important day for us. You've created a new weapon in our fight for freedom. One that we'll use to great advantage. We're all honored to hear that from the Eagle, sir. Verve Jen is your partner in the cause. I'm just waiting for somebody to go, holy crap, that freaking droid has a blaster rifle on his back. <laughs> Not anymore. Bergen's finished. Find a new supplier. Deal with this interruption now, all of you. Something's wrong with the internal defenses. I can't get a response. Secure the building, and don't let anyone escape. Anyone who needs a boost from Cyclone, take it. A boost? I want a boost? Give me a boost. Not so tough now, bag. Oh, I better do what I came here for. No! Recording function activated. Self-diagnosis? Critical. I'm going to die. I'm looking at the man who's going to kill me. Is that me? He's a cat man. A cyborg. How convenient. You eliminated the cell leaders. Now we must remove every trace of their operation and prevent their followers from regrouping. The Terrorist Communications Hub, the system they use to arrange meetings, store secrets, broadcast propaganda, must be destroyed. The man at your feet is our opportunity. Communications Hub? I thought stopping the meeting would end this. There are always survivors. Terrorists scattered around Nashadar. You can deny them the resources to rebuild. I don't know anything. We can use his computer-enhanced brain to locate the hub. You'll need to route me to his cortical implant. What? You can't do that! I'm going there to. There should be a standard interface somewhere on his skull. Connect your holo communicator, and I can slice the data inside his mind. Please, I'll tell you what you need to know. Just don't slice my brain. Oh, come on, buddy. Just shut up and deal with it. You played the game and lost. These are the consequences. Oh, come on. I was amazed that she did that. I thought for sure she was going to go with that. I thought I could. I'll try the other one. I'm going to say sorry for doing this. It's nothing personal. She's still mad at it? But it is necessary. Oh, I guess so. Please don't. I'm inside. Are you? Aethel Yarn, born on Dantooine. Sixteen years old, he comes to Nashadar, works for the Exchange, earns his cybernetics. Nineteen years, 
He is recruited by the Nashadar terror cell, starts as nothing, but his enhancements prove useful to men higher up. They connect him to the cell's communications hub, feed him codes and patterns. Now the coordinates are mine. Yes, and? What are we waiting for? The hub is in the network access sector, a maze of computers and holonet transceivers. You'll have to pass the cell's security droids to reach it. Certainly within your capabilities. Once you're there, disable the terminal. Then the Nashada terror cell will cease to exist. <laughs> can't, can't. Goodbye. Consider this an act of mercy. Well, he was kind of a vegetable at that point, right? Pretty much. I could have sworn he was a carrot. Maybe a piece of celery? Come on, you can do it. It's very echoey in this room. Hey, buddy. Can you guys let me out of this building, please? But either way, I'm going to end this one right here at this point in time. It's kind of short, but that's where I'm going to do it. But either way, I did enjoy it. I hope everyone else did. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And if you didn't enjoy it, please also leave a like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. It'd just be so amazing of you. You'd probably grow a few inches, you know, you'll wake up and you'll have, your, your arms will be bigger. You'll have 20 inch arms. It'd be awesome. Unless you don't want that. <laughs> if you don't want that, then, then it's a curse. I'm sorry. <laughs> but either way, you don't have to. But what you do have to do is, gotta have a good day. That's super duper non-negotiable and super duper mandatory. You gotta do it. And after that good day, hopefully I shall see you on the next one. I guess now there really is only one thing left to say, and that is... Goodbye.